Welcome back to Off the Record, where we talk about whatever, whatever we, we want. want. We got Tesh here. Tesh is somewhat of a weed expert, actually. Mm. Oh, we might know him on TV shows and such as such, but we just realized that he is a weed scientist. On a sewer <laughs> slash scientist. Well, I've invested in a couple of uh, 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 cannabis company. How did you get into it? One of my friends, uh, he, you know, always used to talk about it. He was using it as medicine, you know. he. It wasn't because you guys like to party? No, <laughs> never, <laughs> never, <laughs> never. Purely, purely he seems like a very responsible yeah. guy. Why would we even That's think that, right? right? Look, everything <laughs> in excess is bad for you. Very right? true. And that uh, it doesn't be anything. You know, so you gotta you gotta keep it balanced, a balanced lifestyle. But I do think cannabis is being used more as a medicine, and rightfully so. There's there's research to help back that up. And you know, if you can uh, wean off the alcohol, you know, I don't and, like and maybe opioids and stuff like that, it might be a, a better decision for some yep. people. If you don't like it, don't do it. That's true. I if you like it, ass, go for it. Pat ass hit a weed and get my balls licked. <laughs> it feels good, huh? Hell yeah, it's dope. That's a good advertisement for weed. It yo. sounds like a fun time. Take a one big hit and a one big hit to you your balls. <laughs> a, billboard, a billboard of a guy with his balls, balls and he's just holding his dick and there's someone licking it and there's just a weed plant right there. <laughs> <laughs> that guy smokes pot, yeah. yo. Do you think that's what happened to... Uh, Nicki Minaj's like cousin's husband's friend. Did you guys see that? What happened with that? The, the whole tweet. She said like her cousin's friend got her swollen balls. Balls because vaccine? from the vaccine. But they were, I think they were from, Duncan? I don't know. Right. It's probably an STD wow. just yeah. by based uh, on the description. Uh -huh. But yeah. well, he could have been smoking weed. Who knows? People, he could have been, been doing the rubber band method to his testicles. Yeah, because that gets that it swollen. Was really good. Yeah, that's great. What's good that time. method? So you were you were talking to your buddies about it. Um, while you weren't getting your balls licked. No, and exactly. Then, and then and from so there, you, 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 what made you go, I should invest into this. Cannabis went legal. I saw that the, the benefits that it has, you know, I've been following the NFL closely and all these guys suffering from CT. You mean recreationally legal or medi medically Well, both. Legal. It's both. In California, it's but now I, recreationally legal. So, wait, wait, but me medically it went. Yeah, so medically it goes right. legal. The first thing it goes is like, oh, okay. Pharmaceutical companies think they can make money off of this. Mm. So pharmaceutical companies can make money off of it. It's obviously the public eventually will be able to make money off of it. Mm. And they can, you know, obviously influence super PACs and it's yep. gonna change. And if you look at the trend now nationally, it's going in that direction. And it's so positive now. And during COVID, a lot of states are gonna use it to generate tax revenue. Yep. Mm. You know, in California it gets taxed at every single stage from seed to sale, as they say in the business. So it's just an avenue and I always say, yo, if you're gonna sell cannabis, sell cannabis and put all the money back into infrastructure, put it into schools, put it into mm. town development. Didn't Colorado like crush it yeah, so with their in, taxes? So in Colorado, I believe sales of cannabis now outsell alcohol. Wow. But it also helped the state I heard. Of course, because like they're using the money to yeah. develop whatever they need to develop. Well, what's big alcohol gonna do now? Invest in cannabis. <laughs> <laughs> Same way cigarette companies are going to invest in cannabis. Like Heineken, Right, it's a big billion dollar company. Lagunitas came out of Northern California. Can't compete with that craft beer market. They buy them, <laughs> right? Gillette comes in, Dollar Shave Club comes in. Can't compete with their market, let's just buy them. So that's kind of like the move for a lot of cannabis? Maybe, maybe so, we'll see. You know, I think it's very, it's very kind of early on. There's a lot of growing pains. People are starting to jump into the business from sort of the more professional sector. And a lot of these OGs are kind of bouncing back from that because they've been in the shadows their whole mm. lives. So I think there's a balance, and it'll get there. But I think it's an, it's a new and exciting market to be in. You know, if I told everyone at the table, should we invest in vodka or tequila a hundred years ago? That would have been. Think, I don't think it's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, people used to say. During, during the uh, prohibition movement or the suffrage movement, women used to protest and say, we need to legalize cannabis because our husbands don't beat us. On oh, weed? <laughs> when they're high. When they're high. Mm. But they get aggressive about... when they're drunk. Mm. <clears throat> that's true. I never heard of a wife beating pot smoker. Doesn't yeah. happen. Just a lazy one though. I mean, look, it's yeah. like, it's either they don't pay the bills, but they still don't pay the bills on alcohol anyway, and they beat their wives. Yeah. The, his the history of cannabis is so like, is so linked to the, the racial history of this country and, and business and obviously connecting it with, you know, people of color at that time, you know, the black. I thought it was because they, they wanted to incarcerate, uh, yeah, the black population, because yeah. they were the ones actually smoking, and not not everyone, and in, in the Mexican, right? Yeah, but yeah. if you look at <clears throat> stats now, it's the usage is the same. But if you look at the way that they're probably prosecuted or arrested, it's probably very imbalanced between yeah. the two different communities. And like, 
on top of it, I think when Nixon, the whole thing about why cannabis is bad is because it comes, you know, you have hemp, which is like one of the derivatives, and hemp can be a really strong fabric or, you know, cash product, and it's a competitor to cotton, which was a cash. Cap. And the cotton lobby actually for, for the United States, it, right? Yeah, yeah. And so they just they crush it. But like that's why if you go to like you know Asian countries or like especially in India, like everything's made out of fucking hemp, mm. hemp rope, hemp bags, hemp this, hemp that, right? The trendy stuff. So well, it's all it. politics and money, man. It, it was like, I, I think that's when I was like, dude, all this shit is just money because it's not a moral, ethical issue. Well, no, if it was, people they would address the opioid crisis. They wouldn't be people wouldn't be addicted to Vicodin. You know, you have these football players or, you know, these major athletes who are injuring themselves, fighters, stuff like that. They get addicted to painkillers. Yeah. And it's like, okay, look, try not to be addicted to anything, but if you had to choose between taking Vicodin every day, 10 times a day, or smoking a joint yeah. to relieve your pain, which one would you rather take? Yeah, Vicodin. Vicodin is pretty good, man. It's more fun. <laughs> yeah. Big Pharma did pay a fine, though, I have to say. They go on them. <laughs> they paid. A, they paid a fine about the. Uh, we got them. We got them. Got them big time. It was like a week's worth of income yeah, for them. <laughs> They're hurting now, big time. Yeah. You you mentioned something about CTE and like marijuana use. What, what was the? Uh... Well, I think I think there's there's been a lot of you know, I'm not an expert in this medically, but I think there's been success with former NFL players using cannabis to alleviate their issues and treat their ailments. And they just approved it, right? The NFL allows That I don't know. That I don't know. I know they they were they were protesting to put cannabis on the list. Yeah. I know they removed it for baseball. Yeah, no, the, the NBA too, right? I don't know if they Weren't they just not the testing NBA. people? In the new uh, CBA that they just did, they allow for ma ma marijuana use as long mm. as it's medical, mm -hmm. honestly. <laughs> but um, but yeah, it's a it's to combat CTE mostly. Yeah, because you, you're having a lot of players who, probably for them, and I don't know what's going on with the NFL, they're killing themselves, yeah. Yeah. and I don't know what kind of payout that they have to pay. If anybody once. needs it, it's the NFL player. Yeah, and it's just like, why would you want that? Because then, for them, it's like you're, you're injuring the, the longevity of their careers. Yeah. And that's, from their standpoint, is Money. a business, yeah. right? Yeah. And so if they have a product that only has a shelf life of two years, if they can be like, oh, they can safely do this for five years, and they can feel safe and they make money, it's business for everybody. Everybody wins. Everybody wins. Is Daniel Jones the answer in New York? <laughs> No. Who is this guy? He's a quarterback. Quarterback. Oh, Danny he's Dimes. A, he's, a, he's a Giants fan. I'm a Giants fan, yeah. I'm Giants Knicks. I don't know too much about football. That's all I was like, are you naming I had to ask the one guy who would actually answer a football question, a question about football. Now we can move on. Yeah. No, I don't think he's the answer. <laughs> Why do you think everyone focuses on THC number? Like, every time I go to a dispensary, they're like, man, this one, this one's like fucking 20 something. Tw I'm just like, they don't know better. I'm like, I don't let want me, that, let me, bro. Let me ask you this. this. And this is what I always say. Give me the lightest you need shit. The, you need the balance between THC and CBD, and the total number, uh, but it, it, it would be the equivalent of someone going to a bar and being like, yo, give me the shot of 151. I, want, Ouch. I only want 151 all the time. Gross. Exactly. Gross. That's what I mean. There's your when I, but when I walk into it and they give me the biggest one, I'm like, bro, I'm lightweight. Give me the lowest one. The lower than low. But 151 is so cool when they set it on fire. Boom, so cool. you know what? You can set it on fire. You can set your weed on fire. I kind of miss the days <laughs> of the weed where I can, I, I'm like still on this planet. Try it. Am I, am I allowed to do a shout out? Yeah. yeah. Do a shout out. Atrium Cultivation. Check it out. Pick it up at a dispensary right. in California. Like, I'm in space, bro. You can get any dispensary? Usually? Not any dispensary, but we're, we're big in Northern California, Southern California, what, major markets. What sets you guys apart from the competition? We are all about quality. We are a small batch. We focus on the customer experience, and we want to make sure that the, the, the patient is getting a <laughs> unique leveled cannabis smoking experience, whether they use it for medicine or for, 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 for fun. By the way, little weed tip, I am somewhat of an expert on weed. Just look for the most THC. <laughs> <laughs> but! That's gonna hook you up. I was like, Stu smokes, huh? Okay. First first place at the Cannabis Cup. Northern California. Oh, so, I'm not, we're not, you know, we're not messing around. I'll, I'll help you with the marketing, though. I, I'll be like, all right, get, what is your company called? Atrium Cultivation. Atrium Cultivation, get your balls licked on this. By the way, that laugh was, I'm sorry, <laughs> to, to apologize, that, that was mostly an off-camera delivered laugh, but the laugh was about, he was saying, 
don't look for that. Please, <laughs> yeah, exactly. please, please help. Well, everyone does that all the time. They just go for the highest THC. Give me the highest one. Because they just want to get fucked up and do yeah. nothing and be non-functional. Your... I mean, I guess. Today's video is brought to you by Upstart. Upstart. Credit card debt can be very scary, especially when it feels like you're in this never-ending cycle of debt. Upstart can help you make that final payment so you can get ahead. Oh, ahead. I want to get. Oh, yeah. Upstart is the fast and easy way to pay off your debt with a personal loan all online. Whether you're paying off credit cards, consolidating high interest debt, or funding personal expenses, over half a million people have used Upstart to get one fixed monthly payment. That's wonderful. Upstart knows we're more than just our credit scores. So they're expanding access to affordable credit. Unlike other lenders, Upstart considers your income and your current employment to find you a smarter rate for your loan. That's right. And with just a five minute online rate check, you can see your rate up front for loans between $1,000 to $50,000. Holy moly. And you can receive funds as quick as one business day after accepting your loan. So find out how Upstart can lower your monthly payments by going to upstart.com slash off the record. That's upstart.com slash off the record. And don't forget to use that URL so they know that we sent you guys. Loan amounts will be determined based off of your credit, your income, and other information that you put on your application. Go to upstart.com slash off the record. What's your most preferred way of getting a little baked, a little high? Do you like to smoke? Do you like Eat? to edible it? Do you like no, to fucking just, inhale it through your butt? Just to smoke. That's what I like to do. Just a joint or yeah. a water, water pipe. Oh, on a bonk? You yeah, like yeah, the big yeah. ribs? Mm. Like no, I like you just do a small one. I like pipes because I did like joints, but then um, I'm very eco-friendly and I don't like to let it waste. Does that make sense? Yeah. Also, I don't like to waste the weed. Yeah, you waste a lot of weed, true. but then the, the, the joint is so cool though, because yeah. you feel like Jimi like Hendrix. Yeah. And you let it dangle yeah. on your fucking cool. Cool. yeah, and you play you guitar and shit. <laughs> it's my lifelong dream of wanting to become like Joe Camel. You know, because yeah. I grew up in that era where yeah. they were like, "Oh, Joe Camel's cool. So cool," and they're like, "He's too cool, illegal. Get yeah. rid of him." He was really cool. <laughs> Smoking cigarettes is probably one of the coolest things ever. Ever. No. You know, I, I will always look Just at like, it as being shit. I totally agree with you. I fucking hate cigarettes. Me too. I hate. Cigarettes. But on film, it just oh, looks so like, yeah. That guy is so that cool. That guy's a badass, yo. Know? Just watching him get lung cancer, it's, I'm like, so damn, cool. yes. So just badass. like, or when they're like stressed, and they're like, yo, I need to fucking I'm like, smoke, there's nothing dude. cooler dude, to get James lung James Dean cancer. with the top down, with a cigarette in his mouth, and because the top down's putting out his cigarette, yeah, yeah, but it yeah. looks cool as <laughs> <laughs> It's impossible to light that cigarette going How 40 going? down the PCH. He's like, tch, tch, tch. he's trying to light a match. Tch, tch. And we know he's going 100 miles an hour. <laughs> Every single piece of ember is just sucked out of that fucking thing. It's completely put out. <laughs> yeah, dude. Smoking cigarettes used to be so cool. Now everyone's doing this fucking low cartridge Baby? vapes. Dude, the vapes. The... Uh, <laughs> they look like cucks when they do it. But it they? smells yeah. so good, though. It does. It's, I, it's I like illegal, but I was like, oh, just make it legal. Because I like it when the whole room smells like strawberry perfume and shit. I have a question. Do they have... Um... So obviously, like, I'm brown, right? So hookah's big in the brown community. Well, I like hookah. Is there like any, do they make like particular flavors for the for the Asian community? Like yeah. fucking lychee or some shit? No, I'm being serious. No, because there's, there's for like, for the South Asian community, there's something called pawn, which is like a, it's like a, people eat it after dinner, but it's like, just like mints and sweet oh. and like weird shit that no one ever knows the ingredients and it's wrapped in a leaf. Yeah. And you kind of, you chew on it. Sometimes they'll put chewing tobacco, like depending, it's but like they have like sweet cigarette. version. Yeah, yeah. But like you can get it as a flavor oh. at like hookah or now in cartridges really? wow. in the vapes. And I'm like, these motherfuckers are just going straight for the cultural, cultural jugular. Yeah. <laughs> I had bubblegum hookah. That's for my people, for sure. <laughs> they, got, they got bazooka bubblegum. Big leak, yeah, big leak chew. <laughs> <laughs> was it pretty accurate? Did it really taste like They're on grape? The money, dude. Dude, what's my your big leak? My favorite was uh, cola. 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 Oh, I've never got that. And it tastes exactly like it. Really? Fuck off. Grape is the shit. Grape? People love to hate on grape, by the way. No, grape big leak chew. It's the one. Oh, it's legit. I thought you meant grape hookah. Grape oh, hookah's pretty good. I haven't had it. Grape, grape mint. Grape mint. Yeah, grape mint. Mine's Coca-Cola or cola. 
and um, watermelon. Watermelon the flavor, or do you get the whole fruit setup? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've seen the setup, but it's the flavor. Okay, yeah. Isn't there that one called like Starberry or something? Yeah, there's some all of made up bullshit. Yeah. They're like, that's like going to space. Yeah, type shit. shooting star. I'm like, what the fuck is this supposed to taste like? Death? Yeah. Like, am I gonna get incinerated the moment like, wow, I like? Wow. <laughs> am I gonna go through the atmosphere and catch on fire? <laughs> Dude, I, well, I remember when I was in high school, the coolest thing you could do was like go to the hookah lounge. Like, 18 like, plus, baby. Yeah. 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 But we were at 18, but we would go and be like, yeah, like I'll get a hookah, bro. And we would fucking <laughs> smoke on Starburst and shit, you know? <laughs> Starbuzz. Starbuzz, dude. Star 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 Buzz. Sometimes if I smoke too much hookah, it, immediately I'm like, oh man. You feel sick. I'm like, oh. I'm gonna get diarrhea. It's coming. Like, really? I feel like it's like it's like you know how people smoke cigarettes, take shit, yeah. but it's like that on steroids. Because yeah. you're like, it's so <laughs> and you're like, <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm like, oh god, I'm gonna take a shit. Is it a yeah. diuretic in there? Or? Well, nicotine yeah. just irritates your stomach, probably. Yeah. yeah. You get a you get a you get an iffy stomach if you smoke too. And I'm like sweating. I'm like, I gotta go home. <laughs> you also mentioned spicy food during one of the breaks. Oh, I I, I'll, I'll have you know that I will kick your fucking ass at spicy oh, food. Oh, no, no, no. This is like, this is almost like a racial yeah. insult. Yeah. <laughs> that guy's white, yeah. dude. This guy's white. All right, next time I'm here. Let's go. What do you, let, let me hear some resume. You need to impress me. Oh. Name it, bro. No, I but like, spicy okay. Spicy number one. Okay, so challenge. wait, I need to pick some, some like, like, okay. At Buffalo Wild Wings, what's your go to? Mild, Sauce. bro. <laughs> are you gonna? Are you really gonna do Buffalo Wild Wings? I'm right asking now? you. That shit's the most pussy shit I've ever ate in my life. You bring know. me the the, he still the has, most. He lethal? still hasn't answered my I, question. Well, I don't remember what it's called. Oh yeah, the, the hottest hot. One. The hottest hot. That one, yeah. oh, but, it's, but it's not that good. I got a good one. Okay. He goes to a Thai restaurant and gets hot. I go. I get the <laughs> hottest. Do you do that? One. But he says for Thai people, not for white people. You say. I say tell your tell the chef. I said your mother's a goat. Do they look at you? Because, yeah. you know what's funny, so my, my roommate's white, and he eats spicy food, and so we'll go to like a Thai restaurant, yeah. and we'll be like, Thai spicy, yeah. that's what we'll say, Thai spicy, and the waiter, whoever yeah. it is, I know. will, will ignore me, <laughs> will ignore me completely, and be like, to my room, be like, are you sure? <laughs> like that, and I'll always burst out laughing, and he's like, Yes, ma'am. We're sure, sir. Like, we're Dude, sure. it's so bad I have to have my wife order spicy ass shit for me, and I order what she wants because then they'll give me what I want because they won't give it to me because I'm a white guy. Let's do it. Let's, let's go, go. Let's go. So let's go ham. Let's go to the hospital, bro. Yeah, just go. Let's just go straight there. Just. Have you guys ever done one of those? You like could the, do Thai spicy too. Oh yeah. Fuck. I yeah. Can't yeah. Love that shit. Have, have you guys ever done like the spicy chip challenge? Dude, we should do that next we'll time. Do that. Let's, do that. Let's do that. Let's do the one chip yeah. challenge. Yeah. Well, because I've never done it. it. Never done it. I hope I literally die. <laughs> I, like, I hope that I start sweating like profusely. Oh, dude. Because I see people do that, and I'm wondering if that's comparable to like Thai spicy or like very spicy. What? What, what is it? What is one chip challenge? It's like a ghost pepper. It's a ghost pepper oh, yeah. Dorito. But I forget. The company, oh, yeah. yeah, it's one. It's, like it's just one chip. Yeah. Shaq did it on TNT. You could buy one chip at a time. Yes, it's yeah. sold. Like, what? Is, is it like like, like this? Shit. So he ate it and he was like, oh, I'm good. And then it was like, oop, oop. and he started sweating. It, I don't think it's devastating. Okay. Have you guys ever tried Flash Bang or any of those <laughs> crazy <laughs> like novelty yeah. hot those, sauces? Like, where I've I've had the, I've had the 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 dropper stuff. Yeah, that kind of stuff. Yeah. So I've had one where I literally I put it on a plate. Yeah. I took a toothpick. Yeah. And I dipped it. Yeah. And this is basically like straight up pepper spray oh, extract. Yeah, yeah. It says exactly. no. It has yeah. no flavor. Exactly. Yeah. It has no yeah. flavor. Yeah. It's, it's not, just. It's not even yeah. hot. It's, not it's a weapon. Yeah. yeah. It's a weapon. Yeah. Yeah. That's a, yeah. And like literally just the pick of a toothpick. And I just. It, and I was like, whoa, whoa. It takes one gallon of water to dilute one drop. Whoa. Fuck. That's, that's fucked that's up. So you don't crazy. taste it at all. Wow. Did you start like like I you say you start sweating, but that's why I always wonder like on hot ones. Mm -hmm. How Cuz I saw G Gary Vaynerchuk went on there and like when I eat chicken wings, like I eat everything. Like cartilage, oh, everything's same. off. It's yeah, bone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I'll eat the bone like I, I like know. I haven't eaten in 20 yep, years. Yeah, yeah. I like, eat it until it's boring and yeah, then I drop respect. it. Yeah, like. So sometimes I don't eat the carlos because it's boring. That shit looks like No, no, no. See, for me, that's the best part. <laughs> that shit looks like an archaeological fucking find yes, when I eat yeah. it. It looks like a goddamn T Rex yeah, that no. was just like <laughs> a baby T Rex who's just. If the bone's soft, I'll even crack oh. the bone and have it eat the marrow. No. Yeah. I love it. I look like a, a, a coyote picked up a poodle and then got caught. And then <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> and ran away. <laughs> well, good analogy. That's, what That's good. Like. That was very specific. I, yeah. yeah. You were there though. You could see it. You yeah. painted that really well. <laughs> yeah. Thank, you. Thank you. But I get the sauce off. That's for damn sure. The sauce is the best part. Licks good. the sauce off. Sauce is off until the wing is white again. <laughs> white as a bump. Let's let's do the one chip. I think we have the sauce here actually. I think we do. We do. I, mean, it's, I think it's right over there, like next to the eucerin. Let's go right now. What do we got? Are you fucking serious? Oh, is that it? What is that? that looks like a vial of blood. Yeah. yeah that's Dude. It. Like, that's the one, like, uh. Let's see, is it expired? Is that this? Wait, let's see. Smell it. Uh, let me smell oh, it. This looks sure like Wait, wait, no, that's not flashbang. No, that, that's was crazier. No, we don't have the one anymore. Well, I think that's the one we made in the Dean try, isn't it? Yeah, no, like, no, that, that's that's the one. That's the one. I don't for think sure. we tried Dude. that one. No, I threw, I threw out the flashbang because it expired. Careful, yeah, be yeah. really careful of that stuff. Oh, God. Smell it first. It's probably old as fuck. It's probably, it's probably like four years old. It. No, it it smells it. like prunes. Yeah, don't don't right. even. Right. Watch this like tamarind syrup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It smells. Like... It does. It smells like that. You're right. Yeah, it smells sour. It does. It smells like that. Yeah, we should probably throw that away. Yeah, I don't know what that should is. Should we try it, it before old. we throw it away? <laughs> <laughs> this guy's in, dude. Yeah. Touch is in. It's like four years old. Yeah, it's old. Yeah, but what's what was the main ingredient? Just oil? I don't know what that actually is, though. That's what is it? I don't know what that is. I didn't buy that one. Did we buy it for a challenge? I think. Oh, um, oh you might want to wash oh, your hands. Because yeah, we had some like I can't close. we had a lot of <laughs> prank hot sauces here, and some of them you put. I mean, for me, I'm not like a crazy tolerance, but you take one drop, and your forehead gushes, and your ears start ringing. Yeah, the, the ear yeah. ringing. Some oh. of them you take one, and you just the the day is done. Yeah. You can't <laughs> <laughs> My ears ring with you're a fucking badass. <laughs> <laughs> you have the biggest dick ever seen. <laughs> <laughs>